You know, when people first heard that we were thinking about doing a road trip uh, across Western Canada, they thought we were crazy. You know, when we thought about it, it was actually the most natural thing we probably could have done. You never guess the places that I've been. You never guess the places that I've been. The brew house that was made in Abbotsford, we're bringing it across to Beansville. It's probably the most important part of our brewery. It's a connection with our brew house to Canada. It's made this a beer pilgrimage. The first stop was in uh, Abbotsford, and just in celebrating all the great workmanship that went into the construction of our brew house. So just basically a big thank you. That was special. So we've got the four vessel brew house and we've got the cool ship. This is gonna be the biggest cool ship in Canada. But we're really excited to have that in Beamsville. Start brewing beer. It's just a one-time opportunity to celebrate Canada, to celebrate this great country that we're in. This is Chilliwack Hop Farms, and I'm John, and that's John. I'm John too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we started this operation about five, six years ago, and yeah, the standing joke is that it was going to be a retirement project. But uh, after the first year or so, I could see it just wasn't going to work with just a few acres, and I had to get bigger to get in the market. So um, we expanded a little, and uh, we're now at around 300 acres. Chilliwack has a long, long history of being a hop producing region. Uh, at its height, there was 2,000 acres, and it was the biggest hop growing area in the uh, British Commonwealth. The price in 1936 was $1.98 for hops a pound. And when it closed down in 96, 60 years later, it was $2.98 a pound. It, the, that's when it folded up. And well, we started to bring it back about six, seven years ago. And it's exploded since then, absolutely exploded because of the craft brewery industry. So that's made all the difference in the world to the whole thing. I, I never thought we'd be here in five years, never. It gets bigger every day. The biggest hops farm in Canada? Yeah, basically, yeah. So I'll show you, there's some cactus here. We're at the tip of the Sonoran Desert. So this gives you an idea of, you know, this, the, the land is a desert. And it's, it's a desert, wow. You know, it's a glacial till and really the heat units that we get. It's incredible. And so the desert actually comes up into Canada? Yes, it comes all the way up from Washington and it ends just, uh, just a couple of miles from here, really. This is sort of the northern tip of the... Isn't the that desert. Great? Yeah. There's a lot of wine writers, Canadian wine writers, say you can't grow cab in Canada. And, and I say generally that's the case, but you, like you can grow cab in Canada and you can grow great cab in Canada. Absolutely. And that's what we want to so try and prove. That's what you're drinking right now. And you can only grow it in certain spots. So, I mean, this, this area, this section here just loves the cab. And, but because we have all these dips and these hollows, we have different slopes in our vineyard which allows us to grow, you know, different varieties in different spots. And the heat that comes off of that, um, the cab just loves it. You know, in some discussions we've had just walking through your beautiful vineyards, you said you want to have estate-grown grapes. You want to control that process. It's important uh, for you. Absolutely. And that's and what we're trying to do in beer as well. Our grapes that we're throwing in, then with our beer, um, we're also going to start malting. We're going to do uh, barley. We're going to malt barley. All going to be very local, so it's important for us to do the same thing. I can't wait to try some of that because it, it sounds like a great plan. Oh, that's great. Oh, yeah. Cheers. The, the yeah. beer from wine country. Yes. <laughs> cheers. 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 <laughs> uh, my name is Steve Anderson, and uh, you know, I obviously drive truck. I've been driving for over 40 years, and uh, pretty much I've enjoyed it. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing 40 years, right? Also got to do it with my son, 
driving the other truck. He used to go with me a lot when he was younger. And uh, then he started, you know, obviously I got him driving. That's great, I love it. It's not the first time we've worked at other companies in the past together where we've been down the road. And I've not been to BC in a transport before. This is the first time. But uh, going through the mountains of BC is just beautiful. I, that's, that's an experience and a half. It's a nice way to, you know, do something with your son at this point in time, right? Like it might not come up again. It's a life experience, right? It's uh, something I'm going to cherish, for sure, because I never probably get to do it again. It plays on the heart strings, that's for sure. It's been a blast. He's been great. Yeah, really does tug on the heart strings, actually. We've traveled quite a bit together, and uh, not everybody can say they can do that with their kids, you know? It's kind of cool. We didn't get a lot of sleep last night, but you might hear that in my voice, but uh, it's been quite serene in some spots, just kind of looking around, taking it all in, uh, seeing the beautiful scenery. Uh, it's neat transitioning from British Columbia into Alberta. Just incredible scenery that we've seen. You know, even in BC, there were times where we had different landscapes. It's just it's unbelievable how beautiful our country is. So right now we're in Pincher Creek, Alberta. So basically at the southwesterly point of Alberta. This is cattle country. Beautiful scenery. We've got Livingston Range just behind us directly. So yeah, this is one of the most beautiful parts of Canada in my, my mind. I love it here. It's just, just, just a beautiful place to be. So this is a road trip and we wanted to have some fun. And having fun was actually making a bench and we really wanted to bring this across with us and have all the people that we meet on this bent road trip sign this. We're then going to hang this with us uh, in our production facility in Beamso. So uh, we've just passed Saskatoon, uh, heading up to Rothern now, about 45 minutes north. And uh, yeah, really excited to, to see uh, Matt and his team at, at Maker's Malt and, and uh, the beautiful barley farm that they have there. We're gonna look at a craft maltster, new new operation, really understand how it was to, to build that. An established barley farm, you know, been, been growing barley uh, for, for many decades. So it's just gonna be very interesting because that's a you know, key input for us and something that we hope that we can use and work together with Maker's Malt. So this is the first kind of official event with Maker's Craft and Malt, so we're happy to see all these people out here. And uh, just want to welcome Bench Brewing, which is the reason we're having a party today. I think this road trip actually kind of helps us exemplify what Bench stands for. Agriculture is, is hugely important in what we do. Uh, we're a farmhouse brewery. So for us to connect with like-minded people all the way across Canada, that, that was important to us. So I think, you know, this road trip exemplifies a lot of great things about what, what Bench is about. So today we are en route from Saskatoon, heading to Regina and uh, soaking in some of the beautiful scenery of the prairies. Peter, how are you? Great to see you. Fantastic. Welcome to Regina. Excellent. Great to be yeah. here. My how, new home. How are you settling in? I couldn't have asked to land in a better spot. You know, we're the heartland of CFL fandom. It's the you know, biggest program in the league. We got a beautiful new stadium, and you now you're uh, observing some of the other fine uh, features of the city. The Queen City. The Queen City. 
You know, one of the great Canadian cities, a perfect place for the stopover on your tour. Yes. Any uh, beer drinkers on the offensive line? Oh yeah, we got a couple, as in all five. <laughs> So uh, our Balls Falls can is green, rider green. Yeah, oh, fantastic. I won't say that much in Hamilton, but uh, yeah, we'd like to uh, you know, see if some of the guys could uh, have a taste and see what they think. Oh yeah, no, I'll bring some into the locker room. I'll be okay. very well received. Okay, that's great. Thanks a lot. It was gonna be great to, to talk to you today. Hey, awesome. no, Pete, fantastic, yeah. Thanks, Peter. Thanks. The two stops that we're gonna make in Saskatchewan and, and Manitoba, I think exemplify what Central Canada uh, is to the craft beer industry and the Canadian craft beer industry. You know, Manitoba, known for wheat, that's the, the, the center of wheat in our country, and so we're really excited. It's great. We're going to go to uh, Portage La Prairie. We're going to experience uh, a wheat farm that's been in the family for 120 years, really get to know how wheat is actually grown, harvested in the province of Manitoba. So Darren, we were uh, just in Saskatchewan and we were talking to some of the barley farmers there and they told us that the best barley in the world comes from Saskatchewan. So what is the best in the world that comes from Manitoba? Well, we gotta think about our wheat crops here. We, we grow beautiful wheat crops here. If, uh, if we have favorable weather at harvest time, we grow number one Canada red spring wheat. I think I can make beer with that. I can, I can sell wheat for beer. <laughs> How long has your family been farming this piece? It would be since the 30s or 40s. Okay. Uh, it was a, a great uncle of mine owned it, and then uh, his son had it, and I bought it from him okay. about uh, 12, 15 years ago. So, yeah, it's been around for a long time. Mama told me, girl, don't you see? There ain't nobody gonna tell well, this is a fairly uh, new variety. This is Brandon uh, Red Spring Wheat. It is bred for disease resistance. Uh, it doesn't lodge, you can see. I mean, this is a, it's a pretty good stand of wheat. There is nothing laying down in here yet. Some of the varieties we've had, uh, you know, in previous years, you get a nice stand like this, and by this time of year, you get spots where it's laying flat on the ground that really affects your yield. So, yeah, fusarium resistance, good yield. On this trip, you know, for us, it's been really nice to really connect with the places where our inputs come from. We're really excited to have that kind of sense of time and sense of place in the product that we make. So thanks for being part of it. Hey, it's my pleasure. I like wheat, I like beer. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you hurt me. I come from the place as you brother to my We've done about 4,500 clicks right now. Quite a distance. So this, this is my first time in Northern Ontario. And what struck me was just how great the people were, how humble and, 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 and hospitable and inviting they were. I had such a learning experience being up here over the last three days. I, I love it up here. It, it's gorgeous. I, I didn't have an appreciation. It's on our doorstep. Yeah, I think what we're looking forward to now is you feel like the you, home stretch is upon us. So I think taking back those experiences across all the other provinces and then having a new respect and excitement for our own province, the great province of Ontario, uh, coming through Thunder Bay and, and Northern Ontario all the way home to Beamsville. You know, where we are in Ontario, it's magnificent. Benchlands of the escarpment, the 20 Valley, the community has been so great and uh, it's, it's been humbling for us, all the support we've gotten too. And again, bringing that back and you know, that perspective about uh, the place we live and the place we call home in Ontario.
th this trip is so important for us. You know, this is basically, you know, a time capsule of, of the beginning of our brewery. Like this is, this is it. It's, a, it's only gonna happen once. And, and we took that very seriously and really, you know, I capture that. We started this thinking it was gonna be a beer pilgrimage, but it has become way more than that. For us to see that that, our story, our beer, you know, our people, they're resonating. For me personally, that was one of the most special things, actually connecting with individuals along the way. You start from the Chilliwack Hop Farms, you know, and the Johns there, and you travel across, you know, and we went to the Maker's Malt, and then to continue on, we to go to Manitoba as well in the wheat fields. It's, uh, it was amazing to see that people actually get excited about what we get excited about. I think it's, you know, it's just shared values. We're all Canadians at the end of the day, and it just made, made me feel more proud of where we're from in, uh, in the 20 Valley and anyway, how that is special, just as special as those are the places we went to. You know, the town of Lincoln, Beamsville, uh, the 20 Valley, that's where we're going. That's our home. I can't wait to open our brewery. I can't wait to, you know, brew our beer in our own place with our incredible brew house, with our cool ship and, and, and you know, utilizing all the great things that the 20 Valley has. It's spectacular. I, I can't, I can't wait. We love what we're doing. You know, we, we could be doing other things. We, there, there's other businesses we could have chosen, but we chose beer. And uh, you know, we wouldn't want to do anything else.